Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be styling clothes that I hate for a week. I saw a video like this by a YouTuber named Megan Batoon, and I thought that video was so interesting. It was such a cool idea. So I wanted to try it for myself. All the credit to her though. This is definitely not my original idea. So I will link her video in the description. So for this video, instead of just putting on outfits that I know I'm gonna hate and being like, ah, I hate it. Who would have guessed? I thought it would be really cool to try to style these these items that I don't like, that aren't my style, that don't make me feel confident, to style them in a way with clothes that I already have that I do like, that is my style, and that does make me feel confident. So for each of these clothing items that I hate, I'll show you how I styled it, talk about how I felt in the outfit, and give the final verdict, would I actually wear it again? And if you're new to my channel, hi, you should subscribe, maybe, think about it, cool? Okay, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I ordered is this skin tight unitard jumpsuit type thing from Fashion Nova. Now this item is a lot of things that I don't like. Definitely not something I would ever pick for myself in a million years. Also, it's not a maternity item, but like half the product photos were of pregnant ladies and like they were rocking it, but I'm not pregnant. I'm not trying to look pregnant. And that just makes me think that it's really gonna highlight my tummy. And that's an area of my body that I'm still a little bit insecure about. So <laughs> this will be interesting. All right, we are starting off this video strong or weak or whatever you want to call it with the worst outfit, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Yeah, you know, in this video, there are some styles that I wouldn't normally get, but I'm okay. We'll see how I feel. This one, I'm like, as soon as I put it on, I feel so self-conscious. Let me show you. Let me show you what we're working with. So I just put on this full body tight skin tight bodysuit it's like cotton and spandex this is from fashion nova it is definitely not something i would normally wear i'm feeling very self-conscious especially about my tummy because it is highlighting it so so much but uh, i grabbed this sweater that i'm gonna try over it and we'll see if i like that any better okay that is definitely a little bit better still not making me feel great but i have this sweater or the brown one let's try that all right, I think I'm gonna go with this one, the brown sweater, just because it's a little bit looser and more shapeless, so I can kind of cover up a little bit more. And you know, like stepping away from the fact that I don't like the way this outfit looks on my body, let's just talk about the actual clothing item itself. Because honestly, I think on any body, no matter like what size, what shape, what structure, this just looks weird. I look like, what do I look like? I look like a Teletubby. That's what I look like. Like, I know there was no gray Teletubby, but that's because they were just waiting for me. Hello, I have arrived. Here I am in my full body gray jumpsuit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to go out in public in this. Okay, I have to go run some errands today. I need to go to the mall and get a couple little things for a video. And then I need to go to the grocery store and get my groceries for the week. Oh man. All right, let's go hit the town in this banging outfit. I look great. I just have to keep telling myself, I love my body. I look great. I feel great. It's the outfit that's the problem and not me. Is it weird to wear Uggs with this outfit? I think I'm gonna wear my Uggs because I think I would feel better if I styled this with like higher boots. And my Uggs are brown, so they match the sweater. So maybe it'll help the outfit to look a little more cohesive. We'll try it. Okay, so I'm inside the dressing room at Lululemon about to try some stuff on, but I wanted to give you guys a mirror shot of the outfit with the boots. I've been in this for probably four or five hours now and I'm feeling better in it. And I think this is, if anything else, it's a good, a good exercise in learning to love my body, all parts of my body. Okay, I just finished my errands and I'm heading back to my car, gonna go home and make some dinner. But I just realized how often I've been doing this today, like crossing my sweater over to cover myself, which is kind of sad. Like, I think this this outfit kind of reinforced that I've still got a ways to go on my body positive journey. I'm still working on some things. But overall, I'm really glad that I conquered my fear of wearing a skin tight jumpsuit for a day. So by styling this unitard jumpsuit, I still don't know what to call it, thing. <laughs> by styling this thing with the Uggs and the sweater, I feel like it gave it more of that kind of like cozy, lazy day pajama look and kind of like less Instagram fatty, which, you know, is more my style. So it did make me feel better than just the jumpsuit on its own, but I still hated it. I just didn't feel great or even good. I tried my best to style it in a way that would flatter my figure, but I still felt like it was just really highlighting so many of my insecurities and just kind of made me hyper aware of those parts of my body. 
personality. But I will say one positive, I think wearing this outfit for a day helped me to kind of like accept and acknowledge those parts of my body that I'm still learning how to love. But uh, no, I definitely would not wear this again. <laughs> For my second day of styling clothes that I hate, I went with a more conventional clothing item, overalls. I know a lot of people really like overalls, they're classic, and they're not some like brand new fad like the Fashion Nova jumpsuit, but personally, I've just, I've never liked them. <laughs> the last time I wore overalls was probably like third grade. I just haven't given them a second shot since third grade me was like, mm -mm, mom, I do not want to wear these jimbery overalls anymore. <laughs> really, it's been that long. I'm just not, I'm not a big fan of the look. I don't think they would flatter my figure, but we're going to give them a shot today. So I ordered this pair of green overalls from Urban and outfitters and let's see how it went. Okay, so it is my second day of wearing clothes that I hate. I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna be heading out to church in like an hour. So today I'm gonna be wearing overalls. And I know a lot of people like overalls, but I just personally, they've never been something that I enjoyed wearing or liked the way they looked on my body. So I'm gonna go shower and then get dressed for the day. So here are the overalls. They're from Urban Outfitters. I haven't tried them on yet, so hopefully they fit. And I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna wear under it. So a, a lot of things need to be figured out. Okay, so here is the outfit, the overalls, and I think I'm gonna wear this white shirt underneath. I also tried it on with this striped, like long sleeve mock neck top that I thought would be cute, but it looked a little bit too mimey with the overalls. You know, like with the stripes and everything, and I've got kind of like a reddish, like mauve lip on today. It was just a little bit too mime, but it was actually pretty funny. When I was doing my makeup, Stephen walked into our bedroom and he's like, oh, I like your outfit. It looks really cute. And I was like, uh, this is for the outfits I hate video. But I guess that just is a perfect example of how subjective fashion and style are. Something that I like might not be something that someone else likes. So my biggest problem with these overalls is actually the fit more than the actual style of the piece. I'm actually okay with, you know, like the look of these. More okay than I thought I would be for sure, but I have really like petite shoulders compared to the rest of my frame. And so this just kind of like hangs down and then I get this extra fabric here. But if I pull it up like this, then there's this like extra little baggy fabric spot there. Okay, so we just got out of church and you know what? I am feeling so much more comfortable and confident in these overalls than I ever expected to. I like that it's just one piece that I throw on. They're pretty comfy sitting in church. I was like super comfortable in them. I like the color. Yeah, I know, I don't wear a lot of green, but it, I like it, they're fun. I'm interested in how much I could try adjusting those straps, but. Well, cause here's the adjustable thing and it ends right here. It won't adjust anymore. So this uh. is as far as I can get them. But I think I'm gonna return these overalls and maybe go on the lookout for a pair that actually fits my body right. I am so surprised. I did not expect to like these, but styling the overalls with the plain white tee and the Adidas gave like a really cute kind of quirky girl next door tomboy look. I just really liked rocking it. You can tell in that footage where I was posing after church that I was just like feeling myself in this outfit. I liked it. Even though this pair didn't quite fit my body right, I still felt really cute in them anyways. I would totally wear overalls again after trying them for this video, but just not these specific overalls. They were super comfortable and actually actually fit my style way more than I was expecting, but I would probably want to find a pair that I tried on in store to make sure they fit my proportions and go for a fabric that's a little bit less like thick and heavy and bulky because these ones, these ones were pretty heavy. I think you can definitely say that my mind has been changed by these overalls. All right, so for day three, I'm combining two things that I do not like, clear clothes and animal print. I talked about my distaste for clear clothes in my trends that need to die video, so y'all already know how I'm feeling about those. And animal print, I mean, I've just, I don't think I've ever been into it. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I totally wanted to be a cheetah girl in second grade, but I don't think I've tried animal print again since those like limited two days. So I found this jacket on the Forever 21 website and I was like, perfect, I hate it. So I ordered it. Good morning, it is my third day of wearing clothes that I don't like and I just got back from doing a little hike with my mom. I edited the vlog, I'm still in my workout clothes but that is not gonna be what I'm wearing for long because it's time to put on my third outfit for the week. Today it's a little rainy, well the rain has kind of cleared up but it's still wet outside so 
I'm gonna wear this little cropped cheetah see-through jacket. Definitely not something that I would classify as my personal style, but I'm gonna go get showered, get ready, and get dressed. Okay, so I just got dressed. Here's what I'm gonna wear with the, where is it? The clear jacket. I have on my Curvy Crew shirt, which you guys can shop these. There's a link in the description for my merch line. We just released these like a month ago and I absolutely love it. I'll show you the back. It's got this cute little detail on the back with the flowers. It says Curvy Crew. I'm also wearing these high-waisted dark wash Good American jeans. I figure I'll tuck the shirt in to kind of give my waist some definition. The jacket is cropped though, so it's not really gonna swallow me up too much. I think it's just, I don't know how it's gonna look. Let's see. Okay, no, this does not go together. I think I'm gonna need to change the jeans or the shirt or both, but this is so cropped. Like if I wasn't wearing a shirt, it would literally show like my under boob. That's how cropped it is. I mean, regardless of the fact that it's see-through, but it is like a little teeny tiny mini jacket. <laughs> okay, I think this works much, much better. The black long sleeve kind of, you know, lessens the cheetah print. It makes it blend in a little bit more. Whereas when I was wearing a short sleeve shirt, you could see it like where the shirt ended on my arm and then it was just clear cheetah print. I feel like it kind of works with this outfit, which is really surprising me. I would never pick this for myself. And honestly, even when I opened up the package, I was like, oh, I don't like this. But with the right outfit, I don't know. It's kind of changing my opinion. So today is gonna be a pretty chill day. I am gonna be at home most of the day because I just have a lot of work to do on my computer, editing and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be here at my desk and this is a little like crinkly and loud for the desk, but I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna power through. And then tonight when Steven gets home, we have to go run some errands together. So the public will get to see this beautiful jacket during those adventures. All right, so it is much later. Steven just got home from work and we're having a salad for dinner. What do you think of my outfit? My very loud, like literally loud, like it makes a lot of sound when I move. Like it's crinkly. What do you think of it? Uh, I call it a joke. <laughs> You were so positive about the overalls, but you don't like this one? Yeah, those were cute. This is just like, no. <laughs> wow, you're like <laughs> savage. You're, after work, Steven is so sassy. Did you get that from like a, a, a joke website? I got it from Forever 21, thank you. Oh, people saw that. I actually like this one. I was feeling good about this one. I genuinely don't think you've ever had a reaction like this to anything I've ever worn. Usually, if it's something that I don't like, you're like, oh, you know, it's clothes. They all look the same to me. Yeah. This seriously, might be the first thing I've ever worn that Steven has outrightly been like, no, what are you wearing? <laughs> Steven has so many questions about this jacket. We're at Target. No, it's not questions, it's concerns. <laughs> He's like, is that jacket bunched up or is it just like broken? I was like, no, it's cropped. That's what it's supposed to look like. Also, I think I've figured out, maybe I don't like this jacket. Maybe I just like this bodysuit because I really like this bodysuit. All right, so let's get our Target stuff. I've got a list. We've got our shopping list. If any of you guys watch our vlog channel, which if you didn't know, vlog channel, link in the description. We go to Target a lot and people make fun of us in the comments for how much we go to Target. And of course, here we are at Target. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty much everything we need. Our cart is full, but it looks like it's just full of toilet paper because Steven insisted that we spend $50 to get the $15 gift card bonus. Yeah, there was some sort of deal with toilet paper. So uh, we are ready to go. And it's about seven o'clock, so I think when I get home, I am going to put on my pajamas and call it a day for outfit number three. Okay, so like I said, I'm not sure if I actually grew to like this jacket more throughout the day or if I just liked the outfit I was wearing it with, which I guess is kind of part of the point of this video is like I found a way to wear this jacket that I actually liked and fit my style and made me feel confident. Pairing it with the black bodysuit, the high-rise jeans, and the Adidas actually made a really cute outfit to me. And this item was easier because it was a jacket, so it wasn't so heavily focused on like my body insecurities. It was just a lot more about my personal style and my personal tastes because uh, I think we could probably all agree that it's a lot easier to work through something just not being your style than to work through years of insecurities and body shaming. Anyways, point being, I liked it. I'm not sure if I would wear it again. Honestly, probably not. But actually it might be kind of fun to wear on like a rainy day that's a little bit warmer because I love clear umbrellas and it's got a hood. So we'll have to see about that. For my last day, and I know there's always a couple comments on videos like these that are like, Sierra, four days isn't a week. But first of all, this video is already heck along as it is. I do not need to add in three more days. <laughs> and second, I spent half the week in my pajamas anyway. So four full outfits is definitely a full week of looks 
for me. Anyways, as I was saying, for my fourth clothing item, I went with this right here, wearing it today because it's the last day. Tiny little crop top tube top that is about the size and length of a bra or a bandeau. But the trend right now isn't to wear this like as a bandeau under a see-through shirt, but to actually wear this as your shirt. And that's totally cool. I think if someone wants to wear a shirt like this, absolutely, yes, do your thing, girl, rock it. But for me personally, on my body, for my daily style, it would be a hard no. So I ordered it from Urban Outfitters and tried to find a way to style it that I didn't absolutely hate. The last day of styling clothes I hate, I have this. Is this a shirt? This thing it is so tiny i don't even know if this is even gonna cover me it literally looks even smaller than like bandos that i wear so this is gonna be a day this is gonna be a look i just got home from the gym i'm gonna go shower get ready and then today skylar is coming over if you guys didn't know if you don't watch the vlogs you probably don't know my best friend skylar helps me with my channel she works for me on the channel as like a producer so she helps me like with content and filming and all that stuff so we usually work together a couple days a week she this is her desk right here that's hers mine is the messy one over here <laughs> so she's gonna be here in about an hour i need to go get ready and figure out how the heck i am going to style this okay so i was thinking i probably don't want to wear this with jeans so what if i did a jean jacket and then this high-waisted like brown leather skirt i feel like that maybe could work i don't know let's try it and see okay so here is the top with the skirt without the jacket i just wanted to show you guys how small this is if i pull it up to cover the top of my bra it shows the bottom of my bra i just it's it's so so small such a little amount of fabric but we're gonna make it work i feel like without the jacket this is like mom in her 40s going to vegas with her girlfriends and it's like is this too much no no you look hot <laughs> which is like so my future and also like great, but not what I'm going for for a day in the office. But with the jacket, I can pull the top down a little bit more to cover the bottom of my bra. So, cause it doesn't matter if you see the top because of the jean jacket. And I feel like this actually looks kind of cute. I was thinking I was gonna try a second outfit and compare, but I think this is it. I feel pretty cute. I feel like I have enough coverage with this tiny, tiny top and Skylar's gonna be here soon. So we'll see what she thinks. If I should style it differently or if this is the way to go. Guess who just got here? Okay, so what do you think of the look? This is the I last really day. I really like it. Really? I feel like it looks like something you would wear aside from the crop top. Yeah, I was gonna style it with jeans and then I thought that would be too much like in the middle. <laughs> yeah. But I'd be interested to see it with jeans too. Should I try it with jeans? Yeah. Okay, let's try it with I jeans. Feel like <laughs> I feel like this looks like something you would wear to like confidence makeover, like a photo shoot. Like it looks. I like, would totally wear this for a photo shoot. Like I feel like it's like glam Sierra. Totally. I'm not that surprised by it. Yeah. Okay, so from Skylar's suggestion, here it is with high-waisted jeans. See, I feel like my problem with this yeah. is I feel like I'm showing so much stomach. I like this look better than the skirt, I think. Really? Yeah. You know what, I think you're right. I think the jacket is long enough that yeah. it does, it like covers me up enough that I don't feel uncomfortable. Hi, can I get a Trenta Ice Black Tea with only three pumps of sweetener? Okay, I'm so glad I went with this with the jeans. I oh, feel yeah. like the black jeans, because I still get to keep the denim jacket. Totally. Which was my thing, I was like, I don't want to wear denim on denim, but the black jeans that are super, super high rise, I, yeah. I actually, this might be my favorite outfit of the it's video. It's a little like Sandy from Greece when she has her glow up. Yes. And she has like the super high waisted. You better shape up. up. Do, do, do. And right outside of Starbucks, we found a white wall. What all basic Instagram girls love, myself included. So. I'm liking this outfit. I think we're gonna take an Instagram picture on it. Gotta hold my Starbucks. It does match my outfit. Look at that. It's like coordinated with it. We got some good, good filming lighting now. I am just about to sit down and film the talking portion of this video that you guys have already watched most of. It's about five o'clock, so it's my last little bit in this outfit until I change into my pajamas. Look at that, it's still showing the bottom of my bra. So uh, yeah, I think I've really been liking this outfit, even though I did not expect to be comfortable in it. I think I found a way to style it that really worked for my body, my style, and my confidence. I can't believe I actually like the way this looks. Styling this itty bitty tube top with the high rise jeans and the denim jacket totally worked for my figure and my style. I felt cute and confident and just like completely normal wearing this all day. It almost didn't even feel like I was wearing this for a video. Like I don't even hate this the way that I styled it. So would I wear it again? 
maybe. I would have to wear it with this exact ensemble because I really like the way that this whole outfit looks. But being that this top has such a small amount of fabric, I do think it would be hard to style with like a different look. But maybe for like Coachella or something, a music festival, Kaboo, I could see it. So, Final thoughts, I think doing this video totally pushed me out of my comfort zone in the best way. Even though I wouldn't say that all of these outfits put my confidence at the highest it's ever been, it was really fun and pretty cool to get a chance to switch up my style. Also, I ended up liking a few of the items way more than I would have ever guessed when I was ordering them. Your girl is definitely on the hunt for a new pair of rockin' overalls. <laughs> also, it was pretty cool to have to try a little bit harder and just be a little bit more inventive with my style game to create an outfit that I actually did like and did want to wear for a whole day. My favorite item of the week would definitely have to be those overalls. Even though that pair didn't fit my proportions perfectly, I felt really cute and confident throughout the day and they just totally matched my personality and my style. Least favorite item, uh, no one's gonna be surprised by this one. It's the gray fashion Nova jumpsuit. This really just hugged every single little part of my body and I just did not feel comfortable or confident at all. I did my best to make it work with the sweater and the boots, but it just was not for me. And my favorite outfit, I have to say, I just love the way today's outfit, outfit number four, came together. These high-rise black jeans are my absolute favorite. They're from Arizona Jean Company. I will link them in the description. And wearing the denim jacket over the top gave me a little bit more coverage, but it was still rocking my curves and I felt totally comfortable showing my tummy in this. So what did you guys think? Which outfit was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? And if you wanna watch more of these style swap videos, there is a card right there or a link in the description where I dress like a bunch of different people and a bunch of different styles for a week. I think my favorite one I've done so far has been when I dressed like Trisha Paytas. That was great. So make sure to check that one out. And I will see you guys on, I think it's gonna go up either Friday or Saturday, my next video. So I will see you then with another new video. Bye.